popular and controversial journalist Kemi Ruloyo has sent out strong warning to Christians who attended the 2020 annual Shiloh program hosted by Living Faith Church, aka Winners Chapel. Being one of the biggest church in Nigeria, Living Faith Church attracts many people and blogs whenever something or someone writes about the church. Kemi Ruloyo, on the other hand, is a controversial journalist. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought about so many controversies about religion and benefits, especially when some pastors also took heal due to COVID-19 disease. Many people have been writing against preachers and ministers of the gospel why they did not foresee and tell people about the COVID-19 pandemic. The just-concluded annual church program, Shiloh, has been talked about by many as the attendees of the program had no face masks on, even though the COVID-19 pandemic was still around. Most of the church branches also did not have their face masks on, as usual, and without pointing out a source. Kemeri Loyo has called out the Living Faith Church for not obeying COVID-19 guidelines and alleged that some of the Living Faith pastors who attended the program are currently down with COVID-19 disease. She was certain about her claims and has warned that everyone who attended the program go to hospitals to have, the, to have themselves tested for COVID-19. She also stated that many pastors have been silent about this, but she would not be kept quiet. She took to her official Twitter handle to make a post calling how the agencies in charge of implementing the COVID-19 pandemic regulations also how some pastors have been hiding the fact that they have contacted the virus. Okay. <laughs> well, according to what she posted, there's a church COVID-19 outbreak which me, which many pastors are silent about. Shiloh 2020. This must be why Itwa Igodalu said the federal government should close down churches if need be. An employee has spread coronavirus day hokoko i have spoken to a quite few people that attended shiloh 2020 so immediately as so late for two weeks many did not wear masks nor social distance many pastors are also sick with covid 19 symptoms shiloh um ls mh should immediately shut down oyedeko's church now i'm a covid experts epidemiologists across nigeria should begin taking samples of these sick church members as soon as possible many flee in from other countries to attend shilo hmm. okay and uh, uh, lsmoh should begin opening isolation centers and start immediate contact tracing it is very very urgent this are the uh, ways of a uh, Kemi Ululoyo, to avoid what happened in South Korea and Germany churches, churches need to roll into action with the various COVID-19 task force of various states looking for those who attended or may be exhibiting symptoms. Do not attend Christmas or New Year's Eve services at this time. Okay, she has been insulting Christians who have been warning her to keep off things that are spiritual and stop spreading false news. She also been calling, claiming that she is a COVID-19 expert and that made many to question her even more. COVID-19 just came out and someone who had not worked on it before says she's an expert. This alone does not make me bother about the trolls she receives. In my opinion, People are always out there trying to listen and see what to write about prominent men of God to make themselves popular and recog uh, recognized. But spiritual things are not to be taken with uh, care or are supposed to be taken with care. Now, Shiloh has been on almost 22 years uh, now. This alone should make our understanding that it is a convenient matter. Despite many trials and tribulations, the bishop over the commission, Bishop David Oyedepo, 
has been experiencing elevations and higher grades even as people troll him okay uh, that is not the case this case is that everybody just be careful whether she's saying the truth or not uh, you just have, if you love your life, if you love yourself, everything is not spiritual. Do the right thing, do the needful, and leave the rest for God. Don't just say, oh, this and this and that. The majority of them don't even know the God. But the most important thing, keep yourself safe first. Prevention, they say, is always better than cure. Well, Kevin Lawyer, you, you are very right because after such gathering, Mr. Coronavirus will smile on some of them. God is powerful than COVID-19. He will soon put an end to it. Okay, thou shalt not tempt thy Lord your God. Why didn't you tell Muslims to isolate after Salah? Okay, someone said, thumbs up, have you? This woman needs some spiritual cleansing. Why didn't she tell everyone that goes to market with no COVID co uh, coordination to isolate themselves for two weeks before they can go to market again? okay i dis i observed that there was no social distancing it was a serious problem dear kemi why bother if they will not listen to you why bother here in america the government is working while uh, tirelessly, tirelessly against the virus why the poor nigerians believe nothing can happen to them no hospitals no health care leave them alone let their death now but they will soon or later thank you for raising this alarm kemi Lula should be factual about what she says some or many sick persons may not necessarily uh, refer to living faith church names and locations may be needed to substitute a submission conversely i witnessed people experiencing miracles of deliverance at shiloh 2020 so we so we see or experience different things. Please be factual on the issue like this because they affect the public. Less care of his speech and blackmail. It is a dangerous misinformation to the public. Seeking for relevance with COVID-19 and Oyedepo, the crowd that gathered at the NMSC offices are immune to COVID-19. But if you attend political rally self-isolation won't matter be deceiving yourselves until you need to brace yourself for new things this coming year new things you haven't seen anything yet hmm. so guys let us hear your opinion and leave your comments in the comment section on this